there on the, the hill there, you could see a big wall. That's where they, there was a big farm there. And they used to have lots of sheep and ponies used to live on Musa. And there is still some sheep that live there, but it hasn't been inhabited for a long time. So we're just coming into the next village, which is called Sandwick. And uh, you can see this big house here down at the shoreline. Here's house. This is the big landowner that used to be. And it's called Sand Lodge. It has a head to private pier that goes across the little ferry boat goes across to Musa. And of course it's a very fertile area. The, head, the name, the family name was all was Bruce. Uh, but that's no longer the case and uh, the mayor, as he is now, is just an ordinary person that works in the lawyer's office. Here's something out for a cycle. And again, the very much spread out uh, village, just along the, the main road through the village. Lots of more sheep. Black lambs, do we see some black lambs? Yeah. Quite common in a lot of the, the little villages is you'll find there to be a, a lot of football and soccer pitch. And perhaps across another side you have the, the children's playing fields. Or the soccer pitch might be next door community hall, so it's just in a little hub of the, the village. And once we get down to Hoswick, it's uh, free time. We have about 45 minutes, I think, here in Hoswick, and there's quite a few different things. There's a, a visitor centre, which gives you a little bit about the history of Sandwick. There was a big cull of whales, and uh, all the information about that is in the, in the little uh, visitor centre. There's also two knitwear stores. One is uh, very traditional Shetland knitwear, similar to the sweater I have on. And the other one is much more artisan, much more modern design. Uh, not particularly Shetland wool, but lots of merino wool and some really uh, unusual, uh, quite expensive knitwear, but it's quite a niche, a niche market. And then we also have, um, if they are open, a little um, jewellery store where the, the lady makes her, her uh, handmade uh, jewellery. So I'll point all these different ones out to you when we get into the village. It's quite an unusual village because there are quite a few big houses here that were built way back, um, possibly a couple of hundred years ago. What is the big here on the, the right? And it's called Colorado Cottage. And we have a Washington Cottage. This is Hoswick. And this was because uh, a lot of the people went out prospecting, the gold prospecting times, and they made a bit of money and came back here and built these houses. So this is the village of Hoswick. And I'll just check my time. And we should be back here on the bus by 10.30, half 10. This is the knitwear place we just passed on the left. This is the other knitwear shop here on the left. And up to the right is the visitor center where you can have 